of the intention to install the um, monopole because it, is a, it was as a prior notification and South Cross have told them they've got to put a proper planning application in. Um, and actually I think that the whole of you are in fact probably not the best location to in very close to that. The house is opposite. Yeah. Oh, that means <laughs> Until 
No. Oh, maybe I need to speak up then because we just move the microphone a bit more towards you. Is that better? Yeah, okay. I'll just read it out again. To prepare responses for the proper authorities regarding any applications relating to badly scope and Yeah. 
and access statement, it says access and parking, the current access and parking arrangements will remain unchanged. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with I'm happy with that. If somebody actually proposes, I will second it or actually do it. Yeah, isn't it? Then only other sort of Yeah, there are 3D pictures of quite a good way of looking at it. You really just need to see what what is that. So Tony proposed no objection, and um, Tom seconded. Mm -hmm. Is that easy to do then? Can you do that always? Maybe. No, I say. Well, it's down to the, the applicants, what, what their architect submits. Oh, I see, that's based on... Yes, yes that's see. exactly. So they're all completely different. Some almost do something on the back of a piece of paper by hand, but others give you a 3D picture. It's yeah. completely down to who the architect is and you can guess the applicant. And, uh, yeah. no, I don't know. Unfortunately, because mm. the 3D pictures are so much better. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, all right, thanks. So, so <coughs> no, sorry, Tony proposed. Yeah. No objection. Tom seconded. Councillors take a vote on that please. A vote in favour. Then are you abstaining? Alright, okay, so that is seven in favour. And one against. Alright, it totally raised this hand the member for the public. Sorry, I just, can you, I think, yeah, I think that was voting, no? oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that, what was that, when you said that the member of the public raised their hand, oh, I said, I think they were voting, yeah, so, taking into consideration, okay, the member of the public nodding, right, so, the next one is, So this is P twenty zero nine nine four eight F. It's alterations to the first floor rear roof and extension of existing rear dormer at two manor farm cottages on an east. This is what for all of No, no, no. Isn't the company something on the no, I don't think that there's two roof consultations. Oh, we've lost two on there. Uh, this is the, the site, so obviously can't get down the back, but it is behind here. The building is. And it is this property tucked in the corner here. Yeah. That. Yeah. If you the rear there, so if you look, there's already an extension on the back. And we'll get to that, shall we? It's a school unit on the right hand side, isn't it? Yeah, and that's just the implication of elevation section. and that is what's there at the moment. Oh, so so then there is this small piece of roofing here, which is being extended across there, and then they've got two, a big, a big bell up and a small bell up, and they're changing them to the low, yeah, to the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the one that I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it does say on the oh, okay. that actually says new flat room dormer with rendered dormer cheeks. Mm -hmm. 
I'm asking for the base out of capacity problems with that. No, I, I can't see any either, so no objection proposed by Andy. Terry, are you second? I second, yeah. So, councillors, if you could take a vote on that one, please, all those in favour. I took it. That's fine. That's fine. Extensions. I'm miscounted. Who haven't I counted in there? Tom just Yeah, Tom. Um, oh, that's right. No, there should be eight altogether. So, Ed, sorry, were you in favour? So, that's six in favour and two extensions. Nobody against? Okay, thank you very much. The next one, this one only came in today, but it, you have all had, I did send stuff out to you earlier on. Um, obviously, because of the tight time scale, we have to respond to planning applications. We need to make a comment on this one today. So that is P2010528 PBR, demolition of existing conservatory and erection of single storey rear extension to form additional living accommodation and the realignment of the existing garden wall. And that's at 12 Marjoram Place. That's the scope. Okay. Ella, not the look on your face when you're trying to do your screen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the concentration. Um, cool. Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, I don't know why you need to bring up the whole time to do this. I don't know. My favourite mode. For mm, what it's worth, I thought it was just the standard uh, conservatory replacement across the back of the building. We've seen loads of them, so I was quite happy with it. Yeah, yeah it is actually, it's not just, yeah, it's quite sort of low key. Um, you know, the 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 not like you've opened everything, but they have to go down that's Okay, you need to turn around as well. It's Yeah, that's the roof rack. Keep that bar on. That's it. No pressure. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fine, if you go to the top and then you let the bar here. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of so that is what is there at the moment. That's okay. So yeah, so obviously you've got the conservatory which actually wraps round the corner. Yeah. Actually, the, um, the existing site plan and the um, proposed site plan is a really good demonstration of it as well. Okay, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Second, make this proposal. Happy to uh, second that. Bear with us as well. Yeah, we're just, um, yeah, uh, ben just wants to see. Um, yeah, I do too. I know it's online. Yeah, so if you're going on the Google image, that would be a bit. Over this a second, you're having technical difficulty. It's not called that, it's called technical difficulty. Oh, <laughs> so much to do What you mean is the system will do a little bit. Yeah. That's what you say to me. I've actually got there's a, a Google screen in the file that shows you where it is in relation to that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Is that the one we looked at last time? Yeah, that's the monster uh, server panels. It's not like it's not a big set. So slow you can select that everything and you have to select the new bank. <laughs> See, now, so we don't need to be exactly <laughs> <Okay, laughs> It's literally just one lesson. property down here so you can see where the wall is currently mm. and this is actually part of their land so then they want to move the wall out to the edge of their property. That's not a good idea. There is, the, they are the, the end of the road there. There is a whole Oh, the one down at the bottom the there. The bit, the bit at the bottom, I think. When we miss it down here, that's their garage. But yeah, those houses are on this side, mate. Yeah, as it seems, we've got to pass up that wall. These here. Those straight down. Yeah. 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 Yeah
does the one which is inside the cup and the other? What aspect does the bread do? You get the beautiful. Uh, yeah, the. Um, I don't know what the shop first paid the application for it should, but it should have it on the application form. Because it doesn't say it on the actual. Well, you should have been Then I'm going to have that on the application form. I'll find that. Okay, so it's this. So that's what they're at the moment. And this is their piece of land. So where that one arrow is. That's that one, yeah. Uh, are they actually good hunting now? Because that looks like that belongs to this house. Thank you. That's a tiny little piece of that land. Well, there was some bit on the table. Yeah, no, the wall doesn't actually. If you can find the proposed site plan. Is that the use of the land? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it's actually proposed site plan. It's not coming. I can, I can show you one here, but they can get it up on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so that, that shows you it. Yeah, I'm highly pleased. You can just plant on screen, that's it. So you can see, so it doesn't impact on next door, it's guaranteed that it still stays out of grass and the plant is border, and the wall comes out to the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, only if it's got TPO on it. I think it's a willow. Yeah. It's not only a tree. Yeah. 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 Well, we have a, had a no objection from Councillor Michael Hill and a seconder from Andy Ward. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to do anything with it if it had TPO on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so, um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, reconsultation, as there was 
revised block plan, floor plan and elevation plan for 33 Huxley Way. So that's D20 06926F, direction single storey front extension to provide additional living accommodation at 33 Huxley Way. The actual the property which is in question is this one here. No, it's next to the white one in that. What was the objection the last time? Any objections last time? Yes, there was. Thank 
people say I'm screen sharing. Mm. Can you do screen? Can you do screen? There might be a display left there. Right, what can people on see? Andy, can you see? What's this really small? Can I see what? What can you see on your screen? I've just got the all the different fold, uh, folders. Okay. That's really I've got all the PDFs and that. That's it. Uh, okay, you are. I've got the same back in. I've got the number Okay, no, but they won't be like, yeah. So, the existing elevation. We can't see. Okay. Uh, it can stop that shit. it. Can it rebuild it? Just bear with us a minute. Screen, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look on your face getting worse. Um, you have no fingernails left. Right, now coming back to shower. Oh, Story front extension to provide additional living accommodation mm. at 33 Huckley Way. Bear with me a minute. Um, I should be able to do this. No. Right, can you see that one? So that's the proposed elevation that's come across here. So that is what is there at the moment. And that is what is proposed. It's one in the roof line of the garage that exists already. Yes. That's, that's right, yes. And there is, I can... There is a letter of objection. No. Ah, Sarah Smith, we have the Sarah Smith to speak. If the chair invites you to speak, this is the applicant. Oh, oh Aaron Smith, okay. Everyone using formal words. Yes, okay, go ahead. Well, did you just let the um, council just read the objection? Can, can I just say the objection was to the previous um, submission, not the revised one? Do we not have to have any confirmation of that from the complaint? Oh. No. Not necessarily. Oh. Because you're, you're actually, I mean obviously 
you look at any objections from the residents and then you can take that on board, but you're making your own decision on how you see the application as well. But I'm, I'm just meaning it's that. Can we have a look at the position of the house and the name on the properties? Yes. Can I just finish the point of making? Um, <laughs> if we, how do we know that that, is, that that person doesn't still have an objection without, you know, without having confirmation from them? We don't. But the right to life is not actually a valid plan in this case anyway. Right to light isn't actually a valid and the objection. Oh, no. No, no, no. Bear with me a minute, I'll have a look. I, they, um, so what do you want to say? You want to... Um, uh, there is this property here. Uh, I don't know, um, because obviously there's no house, there's no identification on the fact that they are a, a neighbouring property. But I mean, the, the, the neighbour would have been reconsulted, uh, um, because this is a reconsult reconsultation, because this came out originally in April. Oh, I see, and they were given the option of re they, yes. they wanted to, oh, I see, yeah, okay. so, yeah. Uh, and I don't actually know, um, there isn't actually a date on, although it does say, um, and they put their objection in on the 18th of May, so that was a long, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May I move to the uh, the, the other member of public, Mr. Charlie, is raising his hand to speak. I can't see that. Oh, okay. So I can't see any. Yeah, I see them. Is there? Is there somebody who? Somebody wants to speak. Yeah, um, on behalf of the applicant. Okay. Um, I uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I am the architect that has prepared the uh, planning application, and uh, uh, you are right. The objection that was previously uh, that was uh, in writing. It's very very difficult to hear you. So you're the architect who's designed on the applicant's application. And that is right. We can't confirm. We couldn't hear what you said because we were breaking up. Okay. Um, the objection of the right to write uh, was for the previous application. That was the objection. Um, that objection, as mentioned before, uh, does not happen. Uh, uh, right. uh, if there is any uh, um, right then there's the property is dividing the two properties and if anything as the sun travels uh, the only shade that is produced is from that two and a half meter edge towards my client on the applicant's side so it actually doesn't go in any way whatsoever onto the next uh, next door side. And the the um, the, the um, there was a redesign um, of the layout and of the elevations was if anything to try and minimize um, uh, the front um, as you would probably see that there's quite a difference between the previous one and this one. However, if anything, this one is only improved. This uh, revision is only improved on the light. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. 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 Yeah, thank 
for us. Mm -hmm. She passed because she can speak now. Oh, yeah, she knows that we couldn't hear the alphabet. Okay, yeah, yeah of course. Carry on. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I think indeed um, the objectives of my neighbours originally were for, and then the neighbours um, that actually live in number 28, and there's an eight and a half foot hedge between the two properties, and actually we're on a separate road in the cul-de-sac, um, but uh, that's fine. Um, I, I've got Tony to uh, redesign the plans. Um, uh, so the original extension was due to come out um, twice as far as the new one, so we cut it back half um, and I think the aesthetics of the uh, new design are actually more pleasing, but in terms of uh, my actual neighbours that um, I'm adjoined to, 34 that I share a drive with and 32 opposite, who are my what I call real neighbours, they're very happy with the work to go ahead and then they've not raised any concerns at all. I can actually The original application was, it was just a much bigger extension yeah. with a different well, yeah, kit. Find, find a, okay, so let's, can I show you, this was what the, so that was, that, that has now been superseded. Yes. Yes, so if I show you it's been superseded with, So, yeah, that, that was what the original objection was on, so this very large front bit here, and this is what the re-concentration is. Mm -hmm. The roof line looks quite good. I don't yeah. really think the redesign is an issue. No. Yeah. Thank you. All those in favour? I obviously can't see everybody here. Yes. So, one, two, four, four and four. Here it's Joe Five. Ed, did you? Are you in favour? Ed, good. No, okay, right. Fine. And Tom, are you in favour? Absolutely. Right. Um, and Andy, you were in favour, yes? Yep. So that's six in favour and two abstentions. That's Harry. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Apologise for the uh, technical difficulties we're having, but we're getting there. Mm -hmm. so the last one, again, is a reconsultation. So it is P20 0667F, the erection of two storey rear and two rear high extension for additional living accommodation at seven bullons close. So, I can just know that and move the Yes. This one there are many drawings and many things of. Hello. Hello, who's saying hello? hello. Is that Andy? Yeah. Think what you were saying because you were breaking up. Is this this is the one that was originally submitted and then resubmitted because the parking wasn't uh, clear in the first place. Whereas in actual fact there is sufficient parking. Was that this is this one? Yeah. Um, bear with me a minute. Yes, because I think yeah because sustainable um, transport objected I think to the original thing. Yeah. Uh, the original because. There, um, they were unsure of the uh, dwelling spaces, but 
but then they subsequently submitted a second uh, comment which said revised plans have now been submitted which show the whole frontage of the site will be provided for vehicles. On that basis there is no transportation objection raised. So if I show you the Google image. So it is this property here. Oh, what, because that's a Google thing? So I'm not showing any of the it's just stagnated. <laughs> yeah, right next. Okay, so that's right, that's that one. So it's this property here. Okay. You can see that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the property here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. 
Right, you have the um, the update in your agenda pack. There was also an update which came today, um, which uh, is details of when the um, bridge move is actually going to take place. So it will now take place between Saturday the 24th of October and the early hours of Sunday the 7th of November and will take approximately 13 days to complete. There are lots of guidelines that they have to to work within. So they have to factor in the latest Corona government guidance, availability of wide range of equipment, securing local accommodation for 150 specialist railway engineering staff, coordination with other railway projects requiring late rail line closures elsewhere on the national rail network, consultation with train operating companies and freight operating companies, the disclosure impact on train services, passengers and freight movement. Um, so there is obviously ongoing work and um, gypsy patch lane and station road junction to remain closed until our bridge route is complete and the road beneath the bridge has been lowered. So it's now expected to remain closed to vehicles until approximately July 2021. The new time frame takes into consideration the extra time we carry out work whilst observing current government guidelines on coronavirus and social distancing. It is not possible to reopen the road fully to all road users prior to the bridge move because of the extent of work that's already been completed. The road closure also needs to remain in place whilst network rail and allen bridging continue with preparatory and highway works such as the creation of the SPNT roadway. Pedestrian access, a footbridge suitable for pedestrians and transport only, has been reopened under the railway bridge on Dixon Patch Lane and will remain open until further notice. The footpath is narrow and pedestrians are advised to pay extra care should they need to use it. However, the footpath will need to close when the bridge move takes place in the autumn when this happens, the free shuttle bus service will be reinstated to those pedestrians needing to make essential journeys by the side of the Gypsy Patch Lane. We will provide advance notice to the community when the footpath leads to play. That's just an update really for your record. I will get this um, update added to our website tomorrow. Um, I think it's already on the site of Sergio and that's the site as well. Okay, next point is 9.2. Let's see the order, all cost by defense. 
all keep their margins consultation. Um, again, you have this in your agenda pack. So this is to install two new signs on the single post back to back to promote the traffic regulation order to make the lining enforceable. So the post and the markings will be enforced when you put them. In your agenda pack, you will have a little diagram of where the sign is going to be. This is the one that is literally to make the lines legally enforceable, is it? Yes, it is literally. They just need to put their fines up to make the lines enforceable, yeah. A bit of an error, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that they've done a review of all their lines, haven't they, all the way around the South Philosophy Theorem, um, and yeah. they've various changes and updates and things, yeah. Uh, I'm happy to propose this. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm happy to second it. Thank you. All those in favour? I'll let them to say that. Is that? Sorry, spending that, yeah? Yeah, there are a number of things that this would be a certain to the goodness. The big common chair, which is for me, very difficult to name. Yeah, they've got contact for my family. Yeah, and here we are. Um, oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it says that uh, you can leave a message, but you can't leave a message, and you can't text it over. So, all you have text it over, so you can find that. I'll go, I will actually, I will pass that one on there. So, this is, for anyone that didn't hear that, this is linked. So, uh, so that was carried, that was the, uh, but going back to the crib pathway thing, apparently the information board on the site which has the horrific telephone number on it, nobody answered the phone and you can't actually leave a message. So I will go back to the pathway, the um, Chris Patchway team and let them know that. In fact, it's about as much use the chocolate too. Well. <laughs> I've mapped it in so I can just let them know. How long ago did you leave the message? Um, was it like weeks ago or was it uh, a day uh, or so? Uh, in the last two weeks. Okay. I will definitely pass that one on. Permission to run to the project of the church Oh, yeah. Can you come to the next um, point 10 with matters relating to health and safety? So, in your agenda pack, you have the quarterly health and safety report on the 18th of March to the 16th of June. Um, so you can see how far we have got in respect of the um, coronavirus guidelines at the moment. Um, we've got the episode of vandalism where the gate was cut off, the gate lock was cut off and the village green or had unauthorised vehicle occupancy. And they were there for less than less than a day. Um, and we've now the sites underwent council re review last year, the unauthorised access points and the borders from again. All measures possible in place. We have had advice concerning the most difficult lots to cut off, which is being followed up. Uh, no reported vandalism at Bailey's Court. Uh, the wooden posts on the cricket outfield are being replaced with concrete ones. That's hoped to be done next week. Um, no vandalism at Brook Way. Um, the three waste bins, out of three waste bins, which are on the footpath between the nature reserve and the trail which comes out on good way were very helpfully all tipped over for some reason. Um, it was reported to us by a member of the public we repaired on the day we reinstated them with email traffic since then. 
Um, the play areas are obviously all still closed at the moment. We will be looking at reopening them um, next, well not next week, but from the 4th of July we will ensure we've got the moment signed that the play areas will be inspected on Friday the 3rd to make sure they're all ready and then a the member of staff will be going round on the morning of the 4th to unpack um, them. Although obviously some of them have still been used even whilst the padlocks have been fine around the end. Um, skate park reopened. Um, so Bailey's Court play area, if councillors remember, um, this was one of the, the projects which was anticipated to carry out this year. Um, so at the annual town council meeting on the 20th of May, council agreed to defer a decision on whether to postpone it until A, we have the year-end finances back in, and B, we had a health and safety update. So this is the health and safety update. So the equipment is old and does need replacing. At present, it is considered that the play area is low risk after jobs carried out arising from the play inspection company's December 2019 inspection. The situation will be monitored and any equipment can be taken out of use as required. Hopefully this year's inspection by the play inspection company will go ahead as normal at the end of this year and we can react accordingly. So that's quite reassuring the fact that we don't obviously we'll insist that we'll then go back to the council in July but just so that people are aware that we don't need to monitor it on the Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, the update, the health and safety update. And uh wish to thank Vicky for her update, which was very comprehensive. Thank you. There were a number of uh, wooden supports uh, factories in either the Bay Area or the area of the school. And I did see a couple of people removing the one. I don't think they were actually official council staff or representatives. I suspect it has been stolen. Whether it was ours or somebody else's been left there, I know not. Yeah, I think I mentioned that to, to Dale when you said about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It was the free school. But yeah, so I think we're on whatever. Yes. It's still something that yeah. perhaps we can know of you or be aware of. Yeah. It's only gone once, so we can go to us. Yeah. So Tom proposed a second report and the vote of thanks to Vicky. Yes. What is I need to add that in. So where's that one? Uh, that's... Yeah, that was a lot of talk. Yeah. And then... Yeah, it was made it. It was very complicated. So I hope that would be perfect. So I would have to sort out the using the teams and do all that stuff. It's, it's, we, we took advice from the eight and that's what they've done. We've got one for the and then one for youth. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we've we kept yeah, four yeah. years, years subscription. Yeah, they are completely set, but um, obviously the people aren't paying out the budget anyway. It's just going to be able to try to split things and... Thank you, this is a lot. 
Yeah. Because actually, it was on the, the payment schedule last um, finance, I think, and it did say laptop as well. Yeah, yeah. Were the Bradley State community signers or signers? Yeah, we're still on the health and safety report at the moment. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it was, uh, Ben just had a couple of queries on the, um, the it was the one about why we spent seven hundred pounds on the web app I can speak to the new work but actually won't see that there was that laptop included in that as well so when the remote work I have to be separate. Um potentially he's just not speaking very loudly and he didn't hear you. I'm happy to separate that yeah, Tom opposed it. Thank you. All those in favour? Vote of thanks and the report. Lovely, thank you very much. 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 Thank Yes, you have that in your agenda pack, and as Andrew has rightly pointed out, it does say Bradley Stoke Community Signers, not Bradley Stoke Community Singers. We <laughs> 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 will get, we'll get that changed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Very much on there. Uh, there's two best mindy voices from when we were having problems with the shutters and the alarm and all sorts of things back in the beginning of April um, and then um, the office finance for and then the service level agreement and the grant aid which all agree at uh, leisure group meeting. Um, I noticed that the central I know that now can um, you know like the local government association like the not uh, what's the word lobbying <laughs> government is quite mad to actually get some funding and for them to actually acknowledge that that it's not just the principal authority to even lower down the parish and town council as well they are suffering significantly. So if you want to go for this action, so this is just an end. Morning and they will be there. I will ask out I'll ask Deborah out to speak on the case. Oh yeah. That would be something like that. How many parish council forum it is, yeah. Yeah. Right, so hang on a minute, because Ben proposed acceptance of the checks. Seconded for that, please. Michael seconded. Yet, he had actually done it. Yet, give him a representation. Only got a bit on side fractures. It's linked to money, wasn't it? So yeah. All those in favour? Sorry. Councillors, if you could uh in favour of the check payment. Looks like I have his hand up, I believe actually unanimous. Thank you very much. Um, and finally to confirm the date and time of the next meeting, Wednesday the twenty second of July, twenty twenty at seven PM. Can I just say the meeting might be eight PM? because we might have to have the extra four council meeting at seven o'clock just to sign off the audit papers. It's, we had the um, person who came in from the company to help us do all the audit stuff today. That's all been done. So it's now with South Gloss, it depends how quickly they can get back their internal audit statement. If they can get it back and signed to us by next Wednesday, then we can add signing of the sign off of the audit to four council on the 8th of July. But if they can't, then it'll have to go to the 22nd of July, but we're still within the time scale that's been allowed. So 
Vote says seven there, it might be four yeah. hours with seven and then planning at eight. Okay. But we'll, we'll hear. You will hear? Yeah. 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 So we'll I presume know. we'll soon after this book, consultations. Yes, indeed, as soon after. Yeah. Okay, so then in that case, I think we can close the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 B